Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Welcome to the Ups and Down Smiley Show where we talk about real life but we don't take life too seriously and we hear the stories of everyday people. Cue the intro! <laughs> about interracial relationships. I've gotten a few messages about people that wanted to talk about this topic and what perfect person to talk about is with my sister Susan. Could you share a little bit about your interracial relationship? Sure. <laughs> so me and my husband, mm -hmm. uh, we actually went to Northern Illinois University together and we were both RAs. Yeah. And we actually dated for about a year and a half in college. Yeah. Um, and then we broke up because he felt that he wanted to be with an African American young lady. Yeah. How did that make you feel? Uh, pretty upset mm -hmm. because I felt like we were a good match and mm -hmm. I thought we would eventually get married yeah um so it was kind of i was very hurt actually yeah uh by that i was going back to um grad school mm -hmm. and he was working at sears and hoffman estates and yeah. one of our campuses is right over there with it by the uh sears over there yeah and so i had gone there and i was like hey i'm right over here so i kind of contacted him like hey what's going on um you want to meet up for lunch or something yeah because i never had I guess by that point in time, I didn't really have hard feelings. We kind of dated for a short time and then got right, 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 right. Yeah. Um, so how was what was it like with like mom and dad and with our family? Um, so we went up, about to get married. Or? Yeah. So we got engaged probably kind of quickly. We um, we probably dated the second time for maybe maybe seven or eight months. A lot of the family didn't agree with it. Yeah. Like not only my parents didn't agree with it, but even some of the, their siblings primarily. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was much of our generation, it was more of our parents' generation. Yeah. Um, and it was very important to me that we had their blessing, my parents' blessing, because yeah. that's always been very important to me. Right. I felt like mom was yeah. more on the fence of okay with it, Yeah. but dad wasn't, so yeah. she had to kind of support him right. in his position, yeah, and that's, that's why, they weren't okay with it. Right. What's interesting about that is that dad is very, like, open. Open, yeah. But yeah. but I, I know it's cultural. You yeah. Know, and I know it has. My opinion is that I think it has to do with what people see when they come here. You know, first yeah. of all, they unfortunately blacks have a bad connotation. Yeah. Um, just because I think what they see on the news a lot. Right. I think so. it's like it ties into like the anti-blackness video. I talked about like the fear of the unknown. Like what. What are Indian people seeing on media? Yeah, Black for people sure. are not portrayed as like really great people, right. which is which is not the truth. Like, there's really great Black people. There's really great people of every race. Right. You know, our culture looks at um, like social status. So, yeah. like, if you're a doctor or a lawyer or something, yeah. that looks better than um, you know whatever your other professions. But I, I got a computer science degree. Yeah. And Kevin has a computer science degree, so I thought yeah. that was a good I thing. I remember hearing you say that. Like I, he's a computer scientist. Right. But he had he has a child. Yeah, that, I feel like that was a, that probably was, a big part of it too. Yeah, yeah. That was a big thing, I think. Yeah. Um because I think obviously again that's a different situation. I think it, yeah, it was just so different for them. Like, yeah. just like nobody in our family has had, like at that point, has right. had like a child out of wedlock and it was just right. like, that's not us. Like the, I think a lot of things that have, is, it's like they feel like they're so different from us, yeah. right? And like what Sindhu mentioned on that video, like what after her parents came back from your wedding, she was like, they're, they're so great. Like the, the family and the people are so great. Like, oh, you know, every, yeah, you, you, have you done that? You have that video. I that video. <laughs> And like that's that's what it takes. Yeah. Like like really like having those relationships and like really getting to know people. And like for sure. I feel like that's probably how mom and dad came around, right? Like getting sure. to know him. Yeah, for sure. And then also I think um because his parents grew up in the church. Yeah. Um Kevin grew up in the church, their family yeah. grew up in the church. That was something common. That was important, I think, for mom and dad. Yeah. It was important for me. To me, Honestly, at one point in time, because I was struggling, you know, I was dating someone else at one point in time. Yeah. That didn't, I was engaged, that fell through. Yeah. At one point in time, I was honestly ready to tell mom and dad to just find me someone in India. Yeah. And then I then I realized, though, that when mom and dad leave, I got to deal with that person. That's, that's your so life. So if I'm not happy with that person, <laughs> I got to deal with that the rest yeah. of my life. So that's when I realized that it's important that I'm happy right. and who I want to be with. Yeah. And for me, faith was important. I wanted mm -hmm. them to be Christian. 
I didn't really care if they were Indian. It was more yeah. important to me that they had a good, strong um, faith background. Right. So I think when mom and dad saw that, they yeah. saw how happy it was. Right. They saw that he came from a good family. His siblings are amazing. Yeah. They were very welcoming. They're I, such a good family. They like, are. And they've been like so welcoming to all of us too. Like we've yeah. been invited to like their Thanksgivings and like I've gone to Kevin's sister's house for a holiday and like I appreciate like how and it, it, that's what it is like Indian people, black people, a lot of people we're all like family centric. Do you have any advice for like young people that are like in relationships right now? Time frame from when we got engaged to when um, you know mom and dad both finally said you know I can marry him. Yeah. It was a lot of prayer. Yeah. Honestly and yeah. really 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 searching to make sure is this who we want to be who I want to be with even before we um, started dating again yeah actually Kevin's like for a month we're not going to talk to each other yeah because we don't want it to be something that's um, like flesh flesh driven or yeah. emotional we want to make sure this is really what makes sense like I, I think about how the kids like they're like so proud of both sides yeah like and they've been to India and they're like I'm Indian yes <laughs> My Lala today, yeah. we were, she was having a spicy chicken sandwich yeah. and she said it was spicy. I'm like, I thought you said you're Indian. But she always talks about how... Yeah, she can handle it. She can handle it. I think it's, I Indian. say it to her all the time. Oh, you? Yeah. you mentioned like they've gotten comments from other little kids or something. Yeah, I mean... When we it's always Indian like, kids, I'm sure. It is Indian. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't think... We don't know what's going on happening at school, I guess. Well, thankfully, they go to a diverse school yeah. where there's a lot of children that are mixed. Yeah. Um, but yeah, when we go to... Indian events like yeah. full, primarily our Indian events. Yeah, um, they do sometimes get comments like you're not Indian. Yeah, and then my kids are like, yes, I am. Yeah, <laughs> you know, right? Because, because I try to teach them that they are Indian and black. I just really pray over them, right? Like that that um, God protects them as they right. go through their day and their protection things are not of not of God. Yeah, um, so that they don't have to deal with that. Because again, my my. Anaya, she's in middle school, and yeah. that's where a lot of that stuff kind of starts. I think, starts right, mm -hmm. so I try to just pray for her that yeah. she doesn't have to deal with that stuff right. um, to the extent yeah. that some people I, do. Yeah, I guess it's hard. Like, I mean, I think you're just like instilling like really good values into your kids, but like there are kids that are like not that they're mean. Like they just maybe like have I don't know where they're learning it. That's yeah. the thing. So I I don't know. Like I guess if you have kids like. I don't know, like do you Take talk some kindness? I would just say that if you are in a relationship, um, like interracial, interracial relationship and you are having animosity from your parents or you know, people, loved ones that you really care about, that you know, you, people that are maybe like your cousins or you know, close friends that are okay with the relationship, um, it's definitely a positive that they can help support that person and yeah. kind of um, just share that they appreciate them and mm -hmm. you know that um, just be their soundboard I guess yeah. this, in case they need that because sometimes you can feel very alone. Yeah I think it's like super hard and I think it's important. The reality is is we are in America and there's a lot of different kinds of people and our generation the next generation is going to be even like more mixed yes. so just like accept it and make keep it moving and like it's our job to maintain our traditions it's our job to maintain yes. our culture like yeah, it's gonna be a little bit more challenging, but it's our job. And so you can't sit here and act like, oh, it's only gonna be like, we're gonna like lose everything because we're marrying outside of our race. No, it's our responsibility. Our parents are came here to this country with all of those traditions of all those cultures, and then now it's our responsibility to maintain it. And so I just feel like it's a kind of a cop out, that like argument of that we're gonna lose it. No matter what, we're gonna get more American in this country, so right. we need to be responsible for like keeping our Indian culture and making sure that's still vibrant and people like we get to continue to celebrate these things and that's on us. My kids love wearing Indian clothes. Yeah. That's awesome. I, I mean I appreciate everyone, the fact that they love everyone Indian loves clothes. Indian culture. So like <laughs> it makes sense that people want to date Indian girls <laughs> and Indian guys. <laughs> no, but just love who you wanna love, like just um just make sure you're happy and I think like the right your people the people will come around and people will support you and you just got to do what's best for you because reality is your parents aren't going to be here forever right prayer yeah. is definitely um a positive and it can only help you yeah all right well thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here um we do this every single week and we do a new video the upside down smiley show bye, bye.